What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Here we are with the final episode in series 8 of Red Dwarf. Now before we dive in, if you guys happen to enjoy, can't forget to smash that subscribe, give the video a thumbs up. Let's see if they can get back control of Red Dwarf or at least get free from these prisons. <laughs> <laughs> Massages. Oh Lord, I wonder what is in that dog. Oh, they sold us a shape shifting space thingy. That was a picture. Yo, what the? Oh no. Only the good. Come <laughs> in. Can I come in, sir? <laughs> I did knock, sir. Perhaps you didn't hear me. <laughs> Your hot lemon, sir. Goddamn yellow fever. I still got that jowly, flabby puffiness around my cheeks. Oh. Wasn't that there before your illness? <laughs> yes, I'm sure it was because. <laughs> Let me touch you in, sir. How's life on probation? Fouled it up yet? Enjoying it, sir. Hey, Practice so they finally free from prison. They in probation now. Before you decide, sir. What's this Space Corps free pardon exonerating you of all crimes doing in here? <laughs> Those people in admin really need to pay more mind, sir. Honestly, you can't rely on anyone these days, can you? <laughs> I'm so sorry, sir. It's just, if I've got a record, I'll never become an officer and command my own ship. That's what I long for more than anything, sir. To be like you. Maybe thinner and in better condition. <laughs> and obviously without your clogged <laughs> arteries. With that aside, sir, you're the person I admire the oh most. Oh my god. Another ambition achieved. You think I could become an officer, sir, one day, sir? Oh, look. It gives me no pleasure telling you this, Rimmer, but I'm sorry. You're just not officer material. No. Not officer material, sir? If you want to take no. my advice, you'll redirect your energies and find something that you have a genuine chance of succeeding at. Like what, sir? <laughs> <laughs> so you're saying I'm never going to become a captain, sir? Never? <laughs> Talia? Well, hi. Hi. Uh, Rimmer was just leaving. I can't believe we've run into one another again after all this time. Oh, well, the nanobots must have resurrected you. Oh, no, nah, that ain't the nanobots. That's the space changes. That's the, 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 the microbe, the changey thingy, the chameleonic. <laughs> Y'all know what it is. It's not the nanobots. You, you look wonderful. You made captain. You've done so well. Your own ship. Wow. I've got goosebumps. The photograph of your wife, sir. Is it okay where it is, or should I turn it so it's facing the wall? <laughs> this Miss Remmer. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. <clears throat> Nothing I can get you, ma'am? Tea? Coffee? Packet of three? You <laughs> <laughs> may not make it. What does he know, the big stupid yellow idiot? <laughs> See my good side, my guile, my weasel cunning. When the going gets tough, my ability to find good hiding places. It's <laughs> <laughs> an imbecile. It really does. <laughs> Me, an imbecile. Alert, alert, a chucking nut bar. Uh oh. Uh oh.
Ah, uh, gay. I'm really scared. I'm being threatened by a dispensing machine. What are you going to do? Leave a horse's head made out of marzipan in my bed? Oh, my hell, I'm really scared. Rimmer. <laughs> Get out on probation, and they still locked up. What? This ain't right. This ain't fair. Uh uh. My back's killing me, bud. Look at my spine. It's so curvy. They threw it away to come back. <laughs> rock, 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 rock. I ain't used to work. But what job did they give me? Something to do with the rock, sir. <laughs> exactly. You know what they got me doing? I gotta put all the rock albums on the PA system. <laughs> I gotta change those suckers once every 45 minutes. I'm a physical wreck. Probation's killing me, boys. Oh my god. What's that? Oh, just a present to help cheer up Miss Kachansky. A calendar? A couple of days ago, she was looking at the old calendar and she said it was the wrong time of the month, so I got her a new one. Oh my god. He's such an idiot. But let's just leave this whole wrong month thing behind us. They were stupid. It was careless. But being grumpy and cheerful about it is getting it way out of proportion. I cry you, Jay. He just don't know. He just don't know what that means. I'm not mad at you. I'm not mad at you, Cry. You probably just ain't programmed to know that information. Oh Lord. Oh, okay. Rumor's not out. Who's wants something? Though you 
might like to hear some hot off the press confidential insider information. There's going to be a cell inspection in about 10 minutes. Keep it under your hat. Cell inspection in 10 minutes. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Harlan was most helpful. <laughs> when it comes to being ahead of the game, I <laughs> oh. If you don't mind me asking, where did you get that priceless nugget of information way before it got into the public domain? I've hacked into the ship's computer system, got into the prison log. I've also managed to get a goosey at the supplies inventory. I've discovered stuff in there that'll make your hair stand on end. Oh. What stuff? Brill cream, it's called. <laughs> he's such an idiot. He, I swear he is. And it makes your hair stand on end. <laughs> Apparently we've only got two jars left, so if you need some, let me know. As soon as I've got anything else that'll be useful, I'll be back. See you in about 25 years, then. There's <laughs> <laughs> little scars eating today. It's a bit dust. You've got a scar? When did you get that? Those complimentary pens that the hospital guys were handing out. You know, uh, most accidents happen in the home, so be careful once. <laughs> Accidentally stab yourself in the head with one. Oh! Where were you? I wasn't at home, so didn't feel stupid or anything. <laughs> that's not a scar, that's a nick. That is a scar. Where'd you get that? From a fight, years ago. Duel. <laughs> a duel? Out of town. Not a jewel. Jewel. The old Steven Spielberg movie. Oh my god. A friend of mine attacked me with a video case. Oh! Some stupid argument about who had the coolest bicycle clips. I got him back though. I peed in his mum's steam iron. He had yellow t shirts for a week. Under the draft board. Another note? Dear Mr. Lister, thanks for your wonderful advice regarding Miss Kajanski. In return, I thought I'd steal Baxter's stash of illegal hooch and hide it in your shower. Oh, no way. I'm laughing as I write this, knowing your cell is about to be searched and imagining the panic now gripping your soul. Oh, God. Oh, God. What the hell are we going to do? We've got an inspection in five minutes. We're on probation. Down the loo, down the sink. Max is going to kill us if he finds out we're doing this. The captain's going to kill us if we don't. But Baxter, you've seen what he's like. Grizzly bears run screaming from him. <laughs> Last week he was playing poker, ran out of money. He bet his right nut on a pair of jacks. <laughs> a pair of jacks, that's how hard he is. Speck. Oh, uh, okay. What are we going to do? We've still got two bottles left. We're going to have to drink him. No way. Hooch, it's about 300% proof. A bottle oh. of this will get the entire Greek Navy drunk. Oh! It'll put hairs on your chest. It'll put hairs on your lips. It'll put hairs on your hairs. Bro, they're going to be completely wasted, bro. Like, completely next level wasted. They should be, by the time they finish it, they should be blacked out. They shouldn't even, they, they should not be conscious anymore. Well, I'm excited. It's lethal. Look, you want to get caught in possession of illegal hooch? Get drinking. Have we got any mixers? Oh my! Oh, better than a driver instructor's handshake, aren't you? Get it down, you're gone. God day. Later. <laughs> God dang. Oh, they done for. Inspection. <laughs> On your feet. Stand by your box. 
<laughs> Dang, just just one sip, bro. Oh my god.
No way they escape. Uh oh. The microbes chameleonic. So it must have been the escape pod. The one Talia, what's her name, arrived on. We've got to go back and tell them. What about our escape? It could be days before they discover this. If we go back now, we've got a chance to work on an antidote. You're just acting all brave and manly to impress her, aren't you? No, Dave's right. He's looking at the big picture. Yeah, the big picture involves you, no clothes, and a haystack. <laughs> Red dwarf is being devoured from within by a corrosive microorganism. As you probably know, we don't have enough craft for everyone to be rescued, so most of you will be staying behind to die. Oh, there's an apology about that in the internal now. <laughs> God dang. Just as I suspected, created an elaborate program not to destroy glass. So we need some plutonium power greenhouse me home free. <laughs> Something that could neutralize the corrosive negativity of the micro. Something with a corrosive positivity. So where'd we get that? There's nothing in yellow pages. <laughs> and the universe. The universe where things are diametrically opposite to this one. There, negative becomes positive, and a virus becomes an antidote. Oh! If there's even the slightest imperfection in the prism, the mirror universe may be an imperfect version of our own. That's something we won't know until we get there. No way. It's overloaded. We've lost Mr. Rimmer. At last, things are looking up. <laughs> I'm gonna say some things that think. Well, best guess, about 20 minutes. Rimmer gonna love life in a parallel universe. To make sure. Oh my god. <laughs> this is gonna take some getting used to. <laughs> they said it was okay to drop by. You look wonderful. So do you. <laughs> That'll be all shambles. Yes. You made captain. You've done so well. Your own ship. Wow. I've got goosebumps. So have I. <laughs> Oh my 
my god, what a terrible dream. Oh, hi, sis. It's me, Arnie Abro. Get your big old lumpy bum down here and give us a big hug. Captain River, I am Sister Talia Garrett. <laughs> your personal spiritual advisor. Oh. Sis, sister, whoever you are. Oh, oh smeg. Stupid science brain box type stuff. <laughs> Somebody oh my god. Of course. Professor? Yes, Captain. Perhaps you could help me. What's this? It's an alkali. Oh yes, what's it called? Cesium Frankolithic Mixy Alabinium Rixy Dixy Duxy Dixy Draxa. I never thought I'd ever hear you say that. <laughs> Can you write it down for me? Certainly. Can I have an extremely long piece of paper, my dear? <laughs> I did it! Oh, Lord. Where is everyone? They've repaired the machine and crossed into the mirror universe. You're the highest rank crew member left on the ships, I suppose. That makes you captain. Congratulations, Cap. Speak off! Go back in that mirror, dog. Ah, oh, day. Where are you going? To make up the formula. I think you'll find that the formula on that piece of paper has now turned into the formula for the virus. Because you've left the mirror universe, so it's turned back into its opposite. Oh! Smack your right. This is a disaster. No, there could still be a happy ending. Have I used to know before? You can always pay me back before you snuff it. How's that a happy ending? What's a happy ending for me? At least my totals will tell me. You smegging well smeg off, you annoying little smeggy smegger. Every dog has his day. And today's the day. Oh my god. No. Even though that was the formula for the virus anyway. Who gonna save Rimmer? That's all we got. If you enjoyed, please don't forget to subscribe. Give the video a thumbs up. And make sure you check out the next one. See you guys next time.